about how low tech it is compared to our <laughs> high tech studio. Um, what's what's today's music? What have you chosen? Listen to this. Golden brown texture oh, like sun. lovely. Woo woo woo! Is <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're watching Olympic breakfast. The time now is 6.28. Good morning and welcome to Olympic breakfast with Sam Quek and Dan Walker. Yeah, good morning to you. Um, just to let you know what's happening over the course of this programme, we were hoping to bring you uh, the women's skiff uh, gold, well, the, the medal race this morning. It was due to start in the next couple of minutes. That has been slightly delayed because of a few weather issues in Tokyo at the moment. So it is a delay. We don't know for how long, uh, but... race and after that it's going to be uh, the men's skiff as well with uh, Dylan Fletcher and Stuart Bithell so fingers crossed we'll bring you that this morning but what we have got for you we've got loads of guests uh, Max Whitlock who won gold yesterday uh, is going to be with us quite shortly and then looking ahead to uh, some of the other stuff we're going to see today Chris Hoy is going to be talking about track cycling mm -hmm. uh, Colin Jackson's going to be looking at the athletics and also Charlotte Dujardin after eight o'clock this morning uh, she's back home now because everyone has to leave after 48 mm -hmm. hours she's going to talk to us about uh, what she managed to achieve with her bronze medals on geo and also looking ahead to the equestrian which finishes today final day of show jumping and potentially two gold medals in the team and the individual for team GB today plenty of sports to oh. talk about and we've got another one which i don't think we've shown yet on olympic breakfast and um, we're going to look now at the women's beach volleyball the knockout stages started today with the round 16 matches our um our hotel in rio actually five years ago was only about 200 yards away from the beach volleyball arena so we we did pop down there quite a bit to have a little look i thought it was good to watch wasn't it it was it was it's amazing exciting yeah uh, pavan and humana paredes of canada were world champions in 2019. Uh, they're up against spain's liliana and elsa and the canadians are a setup as we join it uh, so the number one seeds go marching on uh, i've got some breaking sailing news to bring you this morning um not the best news unfortunately At the end of last week, she, in her in her post race interview, she actually mentioned the slash puppy man. Yeah, who we wanted to know who it was. Yeah, and it is Ian White, <laughs> who is the team psychologist. So uh, he's probably got his work cut out today as well. well they have know. said yeah. uh, no win, so we'll see you again tomorrow. But apparently, slash puppy man Ian is uh, working very it. hard because conditions are very hot. Mm. Um, but he is there. He's doing his job. And tomorrow, uh, we'll hopefully bring you those two medal races. But the fact that we haven't got any. Um, sailing going mm -hmm. on today and means that we are able to bring you some other sports and to recap what's happened overnight we've got Max Whitlock coming up in the next few minutes as well yeah that was saying but for now we're going to stay on the water uh, because there were heats and quarterfinals in the canoe sprint earlier on Great Britain had two women Deborah Kerr and Emily Lewis and they were in the last quarterfinal of the K200 meters here's how they got on with Helen Reeves and Patrick Winterton six is underway it's been interesting so far Oh, you're super competitive. You you would not <laughs> ever share a medal in anything, would you? You'd have a jump off a yeah, race. Yeah, the bottom <laughs> or it's definitely up for debate. Yeah. But I think... Uh, can I ask you about uh, conditions generally? We talked mm. about... Good morning. You're watching Olympic Breakfast. What day are we on, Dan? Day 10? Day 10, day day 10, 10 everybody. Day 10, we're there. It's Monday morning. If you're just tuning in, well, we covered a lot of different sports this morning. It's been very exciting. And coming up as well, you'll be glad to know we'll be talking to the amazing Charlotte Dujardin. I think she's now home from she her is, Olympic yeah. experience after winning that uh, amazing bronze medal. Um, and also we'll have Sir Chris Hoy joining us in the studio, I believe. Yes. Um, which will be good because obviously the track cycling starts today. Yeah, loads to look forward to. And already on Olympic breakfast today, we've had a bit of handball, we've had some hockey, mm -hmm. uh, we've golf. had beach volleyball, slice of golf and some canoeing. And we've looked back at the first session of the athletics. Right now, we're going to turn our attention to badminton and a gold medal match in the women's doubles for you. It's Polly and Rahayu of India. Indonesia taking on China's Chen and Jia. Uh, now, Polly and Rahayu narrowly won the first game, 21-19. We're going to join this in the second game, and commentary comes from Jill Clark and Morton Frost. 
Oh, so close, isn't it? Yeah, we talked uh, to Sir Chris Hoy about the women's team pursuit, which is coming up very shortly for you, uh, the qualifying at least. Um, this is the sort of early stages, but it give, does give you an idea. You get to see that new bike that Chris was talking about, and it sees where they are in terms of the scheme of things going into the uh, medal chances a little bit later on during these games. Plenty to look forward to, but for now, it's time for the news with Charlie. Good morning, day 10 of the Olympic Games. Uh, we're going to bring you some live sport now on Olympic Breakfast. Great to chat to Sir Chris Hoy, but we're going to take you cycling this morning. Uh, just Good morning, it's day 10 of the Olympic Games. You're watching Olympic Breakfast and we can get you right back into the women's team pursuit. And don't forget Team GB, this is a qualification round. They are the last to go, aren't they? Yeah, so don't worry, we are not missing anything. Uh, we're going to rejoin it now where Australia are just about to go and we're going to join Chris Boardman and Simon Brotherton.